So hello YouTube. So I'm kind of bunkering down next to my van because they said it might rain today, like 0.1 chance of rain. And yes, it's raining. So I'm hiding here, it's a north wind. So I'm kind of protected. You can see all the pitter patter on there. And look at this, we've got a lovely rain, but at the same time we hide down, the wind's touching me, or the rain is. So anyways, look. So please excuse the ducks. This is some seaweed. I know someone messaged in the comments. I put their name at the bottom of the screen now, but thank you for the comment. But let me just show you what's inside seaweed. So the reason being, why seaweed is good for chickens is because it's full of fatty acids, omegas, all that kind of stuff. Makes their yolks lovely and yellow, but at the same time, they get some nice grit from the sand here. And if you look here, maggots. So if you look here in my hand, hopefully it zooms in, but there's lovely maggots in here. See that? Nice, big, juicy maggot. You know, wriggly. Is it alive? Yeah, is it wriggled? So anyways, there's maggots there. So they could fatten up on there and there's tons of them in here. So yeah, a lot of the maggot, though, a lot of the maggots, a lot of the flies like to lay their eggs in rotten seaweed and believe me, it smells. It's been sitting in the rain for a good while now, so it's been washed out. So this week I'm gonna empty it. But yeah, you see there, it's like teeming with maggots right now. So this is a nice little protein pocket rich kind of meal for them when the time's right, or well, during lean time. So yeah, and there's kind of, it gets, oh yeah, what's that wood louse? A little shrimp. So yeah, and you get shrimps as well. So you get sand flies who bounce around. They've pretty much bounced out now, but I thought a lot of locals here, what they do, they tend to just kind of get the seaweed, which is in this trailer here, and then just chuck it straight on the bed, which is fair because there's lots of salt in the air. But in my eyes, I feel like that must kind of have a tiny detrimental effect to the soil because there's salt in it. So what I've done is left it there for about a good, what, two, three weeks now. And the rain, it's been raining. It rains all the bloody time. It's raining now. So yeah, so it's kind of, it still smell like seaweed. Let me just smell it. Yeah, it actually smells washed. It smells like it's been kind of sanitized and stuff. So it's not that bad. So. So anyways, yeah, so that's why I'm gonna chuck it in with, this, with the chickens. There you go, so that's what's in seaweed. And it's full of, I've said this before, but it's full of cytokinins and iodine, which is very good for plant growth. It kind of gets rid of them, good for antibiotic antibodies is antibodies i forget i put it at the bottom of the screen again and it's good for um, strong root growth so there you go that's what's in seaweed and for this seaweed here different types i'm not sure entirely which ones what what type it is but again it's it does the same thing it's full of maggots full of shrimp full of goodness good for the soil good for the chickens you're laughing that's where you get those lovely yellowy oaks so oh if you've got a chance to get seaweed for your chickens get some seaweed also i'm gonna give it a try with the ducks because yeah, they lay eggs too. So anyways, there you go. And the reason I got a glove because I do not want my hand to stink and I'm not one to be grabbing at maggots. <laughs> so yeah, but anyway, it's good to have one of these gloves. So anyways, there you go, seaweed. <laughs> 